YouTube channel. I do DIY videos, lifestyle, and home renovations here. I also do a lot of thrifting and thrift flips. So if you're new here and that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can follow along and see more of my video. Today we're gonna to be working on a thrift flip for a lamp that I found on a recent trip that we took. If that sounds interesting to you and you want to see how it turns out, stick around and then we'll do a fun reveal with decorating at the end. So for our project, we're going to be taking a table lamp, just a simple, definitely antique style table lamp that I found on a trip that we just took to North Carolina. Um, this was in a thrift store and it was a little bit beat up. It was kind of showing some aging and some wear. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to refurbish the look of it and then I want to take that table lamp and I want to turn it into a art lamp, an art sconce, to go over this piece of art right back here. When we were on our trip, we went to a thrift store and I found this table lamp that I thought would be perfect to turn into an art lamp. What I've done so far in order to kind of prep for us to get us to the point where we're ready to start working on it and getting it up on the wall, I've taken the light and I have spray painted it black and then I also put a hole so that we can hang it on the wall. So, here's what it's looking like now. Nothing amazing, right? Spray paint didn't like work any magic, but this is just our base. What I've done is I've taken the black spray paint, sprayed it all over, it's a textured black spray paint, and I've let that dry, and I also went ahead and drilled a hole right here. I drilled a hole here because I wanted a way to be able to attach this to the wall, but I'm not really able to easily take this base piece off and just attach this part right here with the light itself. Um, I also wasn't sure if I would like the look of that with just this skinny bit. I thought the base was kind of necessary to finish out the look. Um, but if you see in here, the wire is running through the base. So in order to take the base off, I would have to completely remove the wiring and start from scratch. And because this is an older table lamp, I'm not totally sure how it's wired or how I would do that. Um, so I chose to do it this way. I just thought it would be the easier route. I screwed a hole in right here through the base and I took what is actually an old piece of a curtain rod right here and attached that. So my plan is, to put a picture hook on the wall and just attach it to this curtain rod piece like that. So it would hang this way. We are prepped, we are ready. Our light is spray painted black. The hole is drilled with how we are going to hang it. The next step that we're gonna take is making it look vintage, making it look pretty, and match the decor of the room and kind of go with the art itself. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get some gloves and we're gonna get some rub and buff. And this one is European gold. And we are going to just apply a little bit on the lamp um, and then rub it with a paper towel to kind of like disperse it in. And that's gonna give us that antique vintage kind of look that we're going for. Let's get into it. We're gonna start making our piece look more vintage and antique looking.
is now ready to go. It's painted, antiqued, and dry. So what we're gonna do next is screw the light bulb back in, and then we're gonna hang it over our art piece and see how it looks. Um, so the plan, you okay? So the plan for the wire with the art piece is to run it behind the art. And then what I'm going to eventually do is get um, wire covers, like those little plastic covers that you can paint to match your wall and put them over the cable so that you can't see it and uh, get an attachment at the bottom that covers the socket so that you don't see all the plugs and things in the socket and it has a power strip that attaches that you can kind of hide behind something. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I don't have that yet, so in the meantime, I wanna see how it looks. So we're gonna put it up. We're just gonna ignore the wires for now until we get that. All right, so let's get it ready.